Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Kidlit Joy, and today I'm here to review a non-fiction picture book called Unreal. Can you tell fact from fake? By Kate Simpson and Lila Rudge. So I have read books by both of these author and illustrator combos before, and this one really intrigued me because it is all about fact and fiction in information texts and it's presented in a really cool way. So the pack says, how can we tell fact from fiction, animal from apparition, megafauna from monster? Find out in this collection of weird and wonderful creatures that inhabit our world and imaginations. And we are traveling through a museum with our main character. And at the very start, he introduces the text and he says he's got an exhibit that he's going to visit, but some of the artifacts have gotten mixed up throughout the museum. And we need to sort out which ones are fact from fiction because there is an exhibit on myths and legends and those myths and legends have been interspersed with all of our real animals. And so we have to sort them out. There is information on the page for readers about how to sort out fact from fiction, which I think is a really nice touch because that's something that we have to obviously teach. And then the book goes through the museum. So this is the map of the museum. These are the different exhibits. And as we visit each exhibit, we are introduced to a bunch of animals. And then we have to decide which one in the exhibit is not a real animal. On the next page, we get information about all of the animals and all of the myths and legends and whether or not it is a real existing animal or whether it is something that is unreal. And that's the format of the book. And it was so fascinating. So you're not only getting information about real animals, but you're also getting information about myths and legends and why people confuse it with real things. I mean, I won't lie, my favorite was the drop bear page because <laughs> Australian. It was really well laid out, really fascinating, really interesting. It's a really unique take on an animal information text. And I think it will be one that captures kids' attention because it's just so intriguing. It would also make a really good project or a group project where kids create their own museum exhibits based on myths, legends, and also real things that exist in the world. So thank you very much to the publisher, Alan Nunwin, for sending it to me because I had the best time reading this. I thought it was really, really fun and just something a little bit different to add to a nonfiction collection. In the description, I will leave links to where you can find out more information about the book, the author, and the illustrator. In the comments, I would love to know, have you read any other books like this where they are playing with the idea of fact and fiction real or fake news, things like that, feel free to leave them down below because I think it's a really hot topic at the moment and having more resources and access to, to lists of books and things like that are really useful. If you just wanna let me know that you're here but you don't wanna leave a comment, feel free to leave your favorite emoji down below. Otherwise, I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.